Prime Minister Narendra Modi and visiting Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena to address the closing ceremony of the three-day Vichar Kumbh Convention in Ujjain today. Leaders of various faiths and religions are deliberating on spirituality, science and people's welfare during the convention. The Prime Minister and the Sri Lankan President discussed various issues including problems being faced by the Indian fishermen and various eco-projects, as well as efforts to increase trade and investment between the two neighbours. Prime Minister Narendra Modi joins Rajya Sabha parliamentarians in bidding farewell to 53 retiring MPs, wishes them well for the future, says passage of GST and camper bills would have made their farewell sweeter. Union Cabinet approves national intellectual property rights policy. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley says the policy aims to create awareness about economic, social and cultural benefits of IPRs among all sections of society. In another example of deteriorating law and order machinery in Bihar, unidentified criminals shot dead a senior journalist Rajdev Ranjan in Sivan. Four suspects detained in connection with the murder. BJP condemns the killing. Poll campaigning in Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry will come to an end today. Political parties making last-ditch efforts to woo the electorate for single-phase polling on May 16th. EC gears up to ensure free and fair elections. National Investigation Agency drops charges against Sadhvi Pragya Thakur and five others in the 2008 Malagao blast case for lack of evidence. Also drops Makoka against the remaining 10 accused. Supreme Court directs Centre to release adequate funds to states to tackle drought. Disposing of a PIL on drought, the Apex Court says the government obligated to implement Manrega, Food Security Act and Disaster Management Act directs Centre to release funds for Manrega. The Supreme Court has directed the state governments to appoint food commissioners to oversee effective implementation of public distribution system. The Apex Court said that midday meal in schools should be given throughout summer season in drought-affected areas. The Supreme Court has upheld constitutional validity of penal laws on defamation. The Apex Court said the right to life under Article 21 includes the right to reputation. The Apex Court was hearing the matter based on 24 petitions that allege that the provisions of Criminal Sanction Act as a censuring device, thus violating the freedom of speech guaranteed by the Constitution. The Reserve Bank of India has said that entities from Pakistan, China, Bangladesh and four other regions including Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Iran and Hong Kong or Macau will require its prior approval to establish branch office or project office in India. Prevention of Money Laundering Act PMLA Court in Mumbai has rejected the bail petition of former Deputy Chief Minister Chagan Bhujbal in connection with the Maharashtra Southern Scam. Inaugurating the India Pavilion at the Cannes Film Festival, MOS Information and Broadcasting Rajavardhan Rathor said the Film Facilitation Office would act as a facilitation point for film producers and assist in obtaining permissions, giving information on shooting locales as well as on facilities for production and post-production. Brazil's new finance minister Enrique Mareles has said his priority is to cut government spending but pledged to keep funding for social programs a day after interim President Michel Temer took over from Dilma Rousseff.